Hi YouTube, uh, welcome. We are married in med school. I'm Amy and this is my husband John. We have just finished our second year of DO school and we just recently took Comlex level one. And some of the pro we'd like to do reviews on the products that we liked and one of them is ComQuest. It's a question bank and we absolutely loved it. We used it in the last two weeks of our board preparation and we would like to say a few things about it. So first off, I thought that ComQuest question bank was very similar to the test format. When you pulled it up, it even had like the same color blue on the top and bottom. It had like the next and previous and all that. Everything was in the same spot. So it was really nice and even like the font was the same. So when it came to test day, it was just reassuring. It just felt like I was doing another 50 question block um, like I was practicing. So it wasn't scary at all. Mm -hmm. I just liked how the explanations, I guess, at the end of each question. I know some of the other question banks, they would just give you like a one sentence and be like, oh, this is wrong. And they wouldn't really elaborate on that. And I didn't find that very helpful. Um, so the one thing I really liked about ComQuest is they gave you really good answers, you know, talked you through why this answer is wrong mm -hmm. and not just, you know, this is right because, but they actually had, you know, paragraph for right. And then each wrong answer also had its own paragraph. Um, and the thing that I really liked too was say you had a question on, adrenal insufficiency and they talked about the hormone pathways and everything. Well at the bottom, after explaining, you know, the right and wrong answers, they would actually just have a diagram that you could click on and it would pull it up and I think it pulled it up in a PDF. Um and you could have it right there and just look at it as you're reading the explanations. And so they had that for quite a few things, a couple of pictures of anatomy that you could look at and everything. So it was nice not having to go back through your review book or have to dig through your notes and pull up, okay, you know, where did I draw that biochem pathway out or where is a picture of this that I need to look at. If it had to do with that question and they felt that it was important a lot of times, they would have a little tab at the bottom that you could click on. Yeah, another thing with the explanations that I like too is they kind of had a bottom line. You know, the mm -hmm. Comlex likes to test on this, so make sure you know this. And uh, along with that, some of the questions were quite vague. And I was at first kind of frustrated, like, oh, I cannot under Like, what are they asking me? I don't understand it. And then when I came to reviewing the questions, they would say that, yeah, we pretend we like purposefully. Made, purposefully made this question vague because on the actual test that we have students report to us that it is vague and you're not sure what they're asking and so it kind of gives you good practice to figure out you know maybe based off the the answers that they give you to try to pick the best one so I thought that was it was frustrating at first but actually ended up being very helpful because then on test day when I came across a few vague ones I was like oh, I'm not sure what to do I kind of used the things that I had learned along with ComQuest um, as how to pr approach those questions yeah, it was nice to learn just you know you're gonna have the vague questions so it kind of takes out that anxiety and that almost you know factor of uh oh where you've kind of practiced for it you know that there's gonna be that vagueness and so you can kind of just chalk it up to okay don't really know this one I'm not gonna get stressed out I'm just gonna move on to the next question mm -hmm. very true um, and then another thing that you want you want to talk about the simplification it was kind of just what Amy was talking about um, with the setup and how everything looked um, I know some of the other ones had um, kind of the bells and whistles of every single question was broken down like how many people chose this answer how many people chose this answer and I don't know if it was just because it was our last question bank before the test but I really liked just having the strict like this is right this is wrong here's your explanation you know study and look at this and then kind of move on to the next one and I thought that it was it was helpful in the sense that it was very similar to the actual test and so it was nice the couple weeks before the test just getting into that mode of this is what it's going to look like every single time um, I take my practice test and then when you go on to the test it's just a smooth transition yeah and uh, let's see, another thing I want to talk about. Oh, the customer support and service was awesome. We've been in contact with a person from Conquest, and he has been awesome. And anything, if we had any questions, we know it was easy to contact them. They got back to us right away, even on the weekends, weekdays, everything. And I don't know, just overall, a few comments we'd like to say is that it was we really liked using ComQuest, we didn't know it was going to be part of our study plan from the beginning mm -hmm. just because ComQuest was originally just level 2 and level 3, I believe. And I knew I was going to use ComQuest for level 2 because that's what I had heard was kind of the gold standard for question banks. But I didn't know they offered level 1 and they had just come out with it recently. And so I was really excited to have the opportunity and use it as like the last two weeks of studying because we were using another question bank 
and two weeks before the test, I was getting to the point where I had zero out of like 200 questions left in certain topics. Mm -hmm. And it was frustrating because some of those were my better topics or some of them were my worst topics. And when I was getting tests with new questions, I wasn't getting a good, um, like, a good example of what a 50 question test would look like. I knew I wasn't going to be getting any more ethics questions, even though I had 500 questions left, which didn't seem right. And so it was really nice to be able to have a question bank saved for the last few weeks of studying. And so every time I did a fresh 50 question mm -hmm. test, I was going to be getting um, just a good overview of every single topic. Uh, so that was really nice to have. Mm -hmm. And I think overall, the thing that stands out about ComQuest is their explanations. They were phenomenal. Um, other times when I was studying, I would kind of go through it and be like, oh, okay, next, next. I wouldn't even sometimes read the explanations. With one of the QBanks we used, there would be about a line or two, and I would have to look up on, like, so, all my books from home, and sometimes I couldn't even find something, so I'd actually have to Google it, which was horrible. But every single question that they had went into an explanation of what it was, why each answer question, you know, what maybe what would have changed in the question prompt that would have made mm -hmm. this answer the right one. And at the end it said like this is this testing point was, you know, this was the main topic. Um so that was really really nice. So overall, uh, I loved Comquest. I will definitely be getting it for level 2. So mm -hmm.